you better be recording because if you're not i don't know anyways welcome back to another video sorry i missed some uploads i'm not gonna lie i've been lazy i've been lazy go ahead and get mad at me now i like to say yeah i definitely been lazy but it's okay for the most part a lot of those videos i just wasn't feeling that i did record because right after not right after my last video recorded i recorded like a day or two later but i wasn't feeling it i also did an unboxing video i don't know if i'm release it because obviously it's, for one it's too late that was like two weeks ago and i gotta like really look at it again because i didn't like the camp my, my room's not that big so like i need a lens that's like a little further back it was hard to get the camera angles for it i'm gonna look into it if anything it was just a it's a birthday gift that i got i've already it was a pc case that i set up shout out to my fiance if anything i'll just put a clip in this of like uh what it looks like so since we in october now i kind of want to get like i don't know more horror type spooky like videos you know that kind of stuff you know to get into the spirit a little bit i know it's daytime but i want to try to record this i'm trying to drop this later tonight so it'll make more sense anyways i was gonna watch like i guess i want to do like some reactions to like i don't know some uh some horror shorts films or animated it don't really matter to me i don't know horror short film that one's 10 minutes some of these i'd be seeing low-key I think it's ugly. I ain't watching that. All right, let me see what y'all trying to get into. I know I've seen that one for sure. If the video's not too long, I'll just react to like one or two of them. Products production. All right, immerse y'all. Get that volume up. What breathing, ain't it? <clears throat> All right, everybody. I know he hot. I know he's struggling to sleep. It trying to sound like it was over there. Kind of scared me for a second. 10, 15 at night. I don't know, this junk would be loud, whatever hit me. Not Mr. Bean. Sometimes I'll be wanting to make a short film, I ain't gonna lie. Would y'all be down for that? Oh, that junk kinda dirty. Uh, get you anything? Uh, let me get a pack of Rellos. Glass of water and some Starburst, please. Hey, Kendrick Lamar! You have taste over there. What are you doing here, Sydney? <laughs> You're not gonna believe me. I ain't gonna believe you. I was heading towards my door. I, I just got back. I got to my room. I opened the door, and when I looked up, there was someone else in my room, just peering around the corner. Okay. It was dark. I, I just ran as fast as I could, and I had nowhere else to go. I know I sound crazy, but I'm telling the truth. I'm just, I'm so scared, and I don't want to go back. You know you can't stay here, right? <laughs> wow. Dang, that's a little messed up. I was going to say, hey, do y'all... <laughs> Would y'all believe y'all friend if like they just in the middle of the night 10 what was like 10 15 at night Would y'all believe y'all friend if they just came out of nowhere talking like this? I just want to know I might it, 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 I don't know. I have too many friends to be playing around. You really think that's what this is about I wouldn't even be here right now if I'm trying to hear choice. out <sighs> Okay, I'll tell you what I want to go to bed. So how about I go check out your room? Make sure there's no one there. Oh, okay. And then we can both Go our separate ways, all right? I'd be kind of mad too. Man, I'm mad too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, what hotel do you have to actually do that at? I never had to do that. I don't mean to pause, but look, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna leave a light on or something. When we was out in Texas, I left some kind of light on. Who paying the bills? We not. I mean, we is, but this is not gonna affect me when I leave. Next thing you know, you get slapped up by some random dude.
That light had a delay. Well, if anyone was here, they're gone now. You know, if you're really worried about it, you can always just file a report or something. I don't know. Anyways, you're all set. So that boy do not care about you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Up now, she's gonna get cooked. Oh, I thought it was up for you right there. Is that a window? Like a window. Yeah. Hmm. There you go, forgetting stuff. There you go, this is how I start, y'all. Alright, now I don't do too much. What? I'm creeping. Oh my god. It's so dark. <laughs> then I got a glare on the screen. What do you want? <laughs> Put the beams on them. Well, lie, she might be dead, cuz. Uh, hey, it's me. Uh, I think I just left my key. Well, lie, you might not get that key. <laughs> might be up for you, man. His eyes kind of close together. I'd be scared too, cause why are your eyes that close? <laughs> the junk. Okay, got the vitamins up there. Boy, healthy up there. All right, now watch your back. Right. Zero forty-eight. Is this his room? What could you do in the situation? There's a random guy in your hotel who just spawned in. Mind you, he just spawned in. He was in the other hotel room. You didn't see him leave out of there. Calling somebody won't do. That is beyond police helping. Like that's beyond the service desk helping. This is this is between you and I, something spiritual. Ain't no reason he should be teleporting. His face kind of smooth too. Oh, what's up? You might be the next victim. Hello, is anyone there? Yeah, man, somebody done snuck in my hotel room. Oh no, nah, that boy just teleported up in here. Like, what? What can you say? What can you say to that? I mean, that was cool. Shout out, uh, Shadow Pond Productions. We're gonna watch another one. Um, we're gonna watch like a story. I like the animated stories when they tell stuff. We're gonna watch like, I guess, one. Do we'll just watch one from this because I'm not watching no 30 minute video. There's no way I'm doing all that. I take the same route every single day, in and out of the city. Sounds like my everyday life. I don't live very far, just 30 or so minutes, out in the quiet suburbs. The road I took was always quiet at night. What even car is that? Which was a huge relief, compared to the traffic there was during the day. Okay. I was driving on this road, and everything was going just as it always did. It was a little past 10 p.m my music and happy to be almost home when i was 10 minutes away and entering the woodsy area just before the start of the suburbs a light beamed from up the road okay. nothing was off at first but as it got closer 
It seemed to be really bright, like almost blinding me. Don't worry, it's just a pickup truck. Don't worry. It's just some overly bright pickup truck drivers. I had to stare at the shoulder of the road to make sure I stayed in my lane. But just as I thought they were going to pass me, I suddenly could see a glimpse of their tires right in my lane. They were driving on the wrong side of the road, about to, to head-on collision with Watch me. Watch a random drunk driver. My reflexes took over, and I swerved to the right, immediately flying off the road and slamming into mm. the ditch that bordered the woods. Thanks, smoking. It took me a few seconds to gather myself, but I didn't seem to be very injured or anything. I unbuckled my seatbelt and jumped out of the car. It was totaled for sure. The whole front was pretty much ripped off, and it honestly looked That's like I look. should have died in there. Then I remembered what happened, and immediately got pissed off. I climbed out of the ditch and looked down the road. I expected to see their headlights fading out in the distance, but I was surprised. They had stopped and pulled over, not too far down. Alright, at least they, you know they stopped. Before approaching them, I quickly looked at my surroundings and realized how secluded we were. So before confronting them, I ran back down to my car and got my phone, calling the police. I didn't know who was in that car up there, lie. or if they were drunk and angry or it might something, be one of them young niggas. so I figured I'd play it safe. The operator said they would be here in five minutes, so I hung up and started to walk back up the ditch, but was startled by a guy now standing at the top. He didn't ask if I was okay, or say anything at all. Say something, you weirdo! You the one that made me crash. You could have killed me. I said, trying to hold back my anger until the cops arrived. So we just gonna stare at He him, huh? still didn't speak, but the light from his car on the road suddenly started getting brighter and coming toward where he was standing. Okay. I was still in the ditch, but could see that it was the same car and someone else was driving it. They backed up right to the edge of the ditch, then the driver door swung open oh, nah. and another guy got out. The two men started talking in a different language. I think it was Russian or German. I was gonna say, German. I think he speaks another language. I'm not There's good no with languages, but it had that aggressive sound to it. As they talked, the one guy rushed around to the back of the car and oh, threw don't open the movements trunk. Like that. But instead of grabbing anything, he turned to face me. Both of them immediately came running at me down oh, into nah. the ditch. Oh, nah. It didn't take me more than a split second to put the pieces together. I turned around and sprinted into the woods as the What did I say? That they ain't young, they ain't young, but they doing what they be doing. Y'all seen that video where the, uh, they they robbed some dude. They hit somebody car. And it was like a whole bunch of them in the car. I don't know if it was like, I don't know if it was like two or three of them, but I know it definitely was more than one person. They like lightly tapped it so the person in front would get out their car so they can rob them and take his car. Men That's ran around my car and continued chasing me. This is a little extreme though. This is a little more. They were both large and heavier looking men. So after You know this dude, you know this dude ready. This dude came to run. He in a tracksuit. A good minute of sprinting, I'd lost them. Now I was in the middle of the woods with absolutely no light to see where <clears> I was going. <throat> I didn't even know minutes. which direction was which. With no sounds of the men nearby, I aimlessly wandered through the trees. I wasn't trying to get back to the road while the men were still around, but I also didn't want to get completely lost so that the police wouldn't be able to help me. After only a couple minutes of walking though, At least you know, I followed the something. sound, leading me straight to the road, where oh, I could see feet? the cop car at the top of the ditch and two officers inspecting my car. There were no signs of the men anywhere. Oh, they got out of there. I explained what happened, and they wrote down a report, but... That is a lizard. That is not a cop. Do not trust him. The follow-up investigation was minimal, since only their description was to go off of. Nothing was stolen from my car, though. It's pretty blatant that they were trying to throw me in their trunk, but whether that was planned before or after the crash is unclear maybe they made a mistake and were that trying man to was on a mission unclear. on the right look at his face maybe they made a mistake and were trying to cover it up or it could have all God been dang. just as they intended 
I have bought it off the road. The next story is read in a perspective. The next story is read in the perspective of a female. All right. Hi. I'm writing this today because I love your channel and I thought it might be a great opportunity to I see why you had to give us the disclaimer. Anyways, if y'all want to see me react to that one, I will. If you want to uh, see some more, I'm going to just end it right here. I'm going to just do like two quick ones because I, I kind of want to record a little bit more. Another video. Anyways, if you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. Subscribe, share with your homies. Don't forget to turn your post notifications so you know the next time your boy drop. YouTube lingo. If y'all want more reactions like this or just reactions in general, more horror stuff this month, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm pretty sure that's everything I got. With all that being said, I'm out.